What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, in today's video, we are unboxing and talking about my plans for my very first Bitcoin ASIC miner. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at Wadham. Wadham is a complete Bitcoin mining solutions provider and the largest distributor of Bitcoin mining equipment in the United States. Wadham is your one-stop shop for everything ASIC mining, from Bitcoin miners ranging from the S19 Pro Hydro all the way up to the Antminer S19J Pro. If you're looking to take mining to the next level, Wadham has you covered. With facility build-out services, turnkey mining containers, power transformers, and finally complete hosting services. Check them out at the link down below in the video description. Thanks again to Wadham for supporting the hobbyist miner community. All right, guys, I have been so excited to do this video for so long. So today we're going to be going ahead and unboxing the Amp Miner S19J Pro. This is my very first Bitcoin ASIC miner, and I'm thrilled. I got this about a week ago. I've been so eager to dive in. I've had some other things going on. I haven't had the chance to, and like, I can't wait. We're going to go over it in a little bit to talk about profitability per day and what this done has, does. But at this point, all I have done so far is I have cut this box open with my knife and just pure, looked inside to make sure that nothing looks damaged thus far. This is as far as I've gotten. I have not gotten any farther. So let's not waste too much time. Let's get this opened up. Uh, and then we're going to jump over to the computer and take a closer look at it as well as take a look at profitability, take a look at what we plan to do with it, where we're going to put this thing. All right, let's see if I can get this out of here without dropping it. Oh my gosh. Must sound lovely on camera and on the microphone right now. As I bang the GoPro. <laughs> okay, let's get all this put aside. Dude, love the packaging. Awesome job. So far, so good. This is like first look. It's like wedding day. The first look. Can you tell I'm excited? Gosh, this thing is heavy. Stay. All right. Woo! She's got some weight to her. All right. It doesn't look like it's going to come away on its own. Looks like it's a sealed bag. Oh yeah. Look at that guys. Woo. All right. I think we finally got this thing open. Fixing the table. Get the plastic put away inside. All right. Here's what we're looking at. So Let's go ahead, S19J Pro in the front. It looks like we have our IP report button, ethernet port, a fault and a normal port on the front with a reset. Uh, let's see here, can we bump this up? Here we go, we'll look at it like this. It's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Dang, look at the size of these fans on the front. You know, I see these all the time, like online, you see Red Panda Mining, DJ Mines, all those guys going ahead and, and having these, but it's like, you don't kind of realize how crazy this thing is until you actually Get your hands on it. Side fans here. Okay, cool. So we have two. Can't remember if these are the S13 or the S14, uh, but that's great. We should be able to power that no problem. Might, might even be able to plug it in today. We'll have to see, uh, but won't get a chance to configure it at all quite yet. Let's look at the back side. Oh, man. I can't believe how heavy it is. And then, okay, so here's our exhaust on the back side here. Check that out. I was trying to see if I could read some of the info on these fans. I'm so curious on like, I think these are like, I think these do something crazy, like 8,000 uh, CFM or something crazy, or RPM I think it is, um, not CFM. This is nuts, but hey, I'm excited. I mean, it. <laughs> I could sit here and play around this thing for a while, but heck yeah, huge shout out to the team over at Wadham for sending this over to me. I'm like, right now, what am I going to do with this thing? This thing is nuts. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead. Now that we've had a chance to look at it, 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap over to the computer. And let's kind of talk about and brainstorm some ideas as to where we're going to put this, what we're going to do with it, how we're going to handle airflow. I think those are all huge things when it comes down to being a home miner and dealing with something like a full-blown ASIC Bitcoin miner. It's like, man, this is not meant for your everyday home. Like, let's be honest here. Things like this, you know, you pay a company like Wadham for hosting to host it for you, or you have a facility of some kind that is entirely made for crazy airflow, uh, you know, um, traditional, elect you know, better electric rates than like a homeowner would have, and uh, the sound isn't really a factor. Running this in my house, in a garage, in my basement, whatever, I, I just don't know that it's realistic. I mean, I hear people like uh, Red Fox Crypto, he has, has an ASIC, and it's in his garage, and it's always screaming. So it's like, okay, let's brainstorm some ideas and what we can do with our Antminer S19J Pro uh, at home as a home miner, and how can we get by with it? So I'll see you guys over on the computer. Okay, guys, so let's take a look uh, at the S19J Pro. So over on Wadham.io, you can go over here. I'll put a link down below to this and go over to Miners. And if we scroll down on their site, the model right here to the right-hand side is what we have. Antminer S19J Pro. So it does 104 terahash, and the power consumption is 3,060 watts. So this is absolutely going to go on one of my 30 amp 240 volt. Um, I could still run this and, a, and another rig of some kind. Um, if we stick to the 80-20 rule, we can do, I think, upwards of like 5,700 or 5,800 watts on one of my 30 amp 240 volts that I do have out there. If you guys are unfamiliar, the algorithm is SHA-256. It's on Ethernet. Uh, I don't believe it has wireless. Uh, I don't see it listed here anywhere in that regard. And the release date here was July of 2021. So everybody wants to know about profitability. Totally makes sense, especially when you're spending this kind of money. So I went over to ASIC Miner Value. And uh, if you come over here, you can select the ASIC Miner you're looking at, the uh, Bitmain uh, Antminer S19J Pro 104 terahash unit. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can set your electricity rate. So I have that set, and that puts us at $15.67 a day as of April 14th, and the current uh, difficulty and also price of Bitcoin. Per month, that's $470, and per year, that's $5,600. That's outstanding. I am... Whew, I don't think you guys realize how excited I am. Like, my first stepping stone into this... I'm hyped, absolutely hyped. Now, where the hell are we gonna put this thing? For noise and for heat. So if you guys have been following me more recently, I, I bought kind of like a shed to get by for the next year and a half. So here's the shed that I'm looking at that I purchased actually, I have it in my garage right now. Um, I have to put it together. It is a six by eight and it's considered a Rubicon plastic garden shed. It's a storage shed is what it is. Um, here's some additional pictures on it on the inside. So the walls are like this really thick plastic and my kind of goal and my thoughts are with this shed is that um, I'm buying it for this this Bitcoin ASIC miner, but I'm also going to be adding a lot of other things to it and we're not keeping it looking like a traditional shed. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of things with shutter fans on the side of it. We're going to reinforce the walls with plywood uh, because of the plastic, not only from security perspective, but also for the fact of we're going to be cutting into the walls and mounting things like uh, gable vents and filters and uh, shutter fans, as I said. So I'm super hyped for this. I'm actually going to be building this this upcoming week. So I'm hoping to film as much as I can. But I'm getting this outside of my home, not only for the heat factor, but also for the fact that the sound. Now, how do I like lower the sound? Well, talking with a lot of other people, everything with uh, Bitcoin ASIC miners and the crazy high pitch sound comes down to airflow and temperature. So what I need is to shove as much airflow down this S19J Pro uh, intake as I can. So uh, if you take a look here, this is kind of what I got going on and what I'm thinking. So um, and I'll give you some more details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an intake vent on one side of the shed go into an AC Infinity 8-inch inline fan that's going to give me 800 CFM, and then go into this amazing product made by the team over at 
crypto cloaks. These are ant miner dual to eight. So it takes the, as you guys can see in some of these pictures, it takes the dual fan setup and puts it into an eight inch um, circular uh, tubing so that we can use our, our traditional uh, eight inch uh, HVAC vents to vent it outside. So I'm going to be using that on both sides, on my intake side and then my exhaust side and getting it outside. So my goal is to dedicate airflow directly to it, add a eight inch uh, um, 800 CFM fan to it as well. And based off of what I've been chatting with other people, they're telling me it's significantly quieter when you do this. So I'm gonna do it in my shed. On one side of the shed's gonna be an intake, one side of the shed's gonna be exhaust. And I'm going to build that and design that inside of the shed. I'm going to have some other stuff in there, some mini ASIC miners, some octo miners in the shed as well uh, is kind of my game plan. But huge shout out to the guys over at Crypto Cloaks. They 3D print these with PETG or PETEG um, types of the 3D um, filament in order to deal with the temperature. So I'm hyped. I mean, this is a great design. Uh, Huge shout out to these guys for supplying me these uh, attachments that will work so well. And then here is the AC Infinity uh, Cloudline T8. Uh, that is the inline fan that we'll be using. And that gives us 807 CFM and that's about 39 dBA. So that's gonna be the quietest thing in that entire shit. But I'm hyped guys. I mean, uh, this this uh, partnership with Wadham has been in the works for a while. I think that there's a lot of opportunity for content here for you guys. And also, hey, it's my first real stepping stone into ASIC Bitcoin mining. Uh, I love GPUs. I'm of course, gonna continue mining with GPUs. Uh, I've done some ETH to BTC payouts in order to keep uh, building up my BTC wallet. But now we could dedicate a system directly to Bitcoin and don't need to be utilizing my GPUs for that and get them back on things like Ethereum and Flux and Ergo and Ethereum Classic where I've been at so far. Okay, let's uh, get this thing in our mining room. Gosh, it's so heavy. <laughs> Why are these things so heavy? I don't understand. Okay. There we go. All right, let's grab our cables. Our C13 to C14 cables here. Get these plugged in. Might scoot it over a little bit. So like right on there. There we go. Cool. All right, let's feed these back through. Get them plugged in. Taking you guys along for the ride. All right. I can hear it spinning up now. Let me go ahead and turn off the RTX voice and you guys can hear what the GoPro is hearing. So it's slowly winding up here, it sounds like. Let's grab our ethernet cable. We'll see if this uh, sound changes at all. If it gets louder, if it gets quieter. Oh, this cable is like so twisted. All right, we're plugged in. Good to go there. I haven't read any instructions yet on how to find this thing on the network. I imagine it can't be too, too bad. Uh, but yeah. So here's my goal, guys. Uh, in an upcoming video here in the next week, We'll do a video diving into configuring this, kind of figuring that process out. I got, definitely got to look up some guides. Oh, it looks like it, it actually spun down now. Um, but we'll look up some guides here, kind of educate ourselves on the unit a little bit more. And uh, then I'll circle back around here uh, within the next week. We'll get another video out on our Antminer S19J Pro. And uh yeah, we'll go from there. I mean, I'm excited. This will be great content uh, to share with you guys with the shed build and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, it's going to go ahead and wrap things up for today. Huge shout out to the team over at Wadham. Guys, go check them out. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in anything to do with Bitcoin mining to ASICs. They got these crazy containers that they have. Um, I've been eyeing those up like crazy. I actually shot a few to DJ Mines. I'm like, hey, you should buy one of these containers. Um, but anyways, guys, check it out. Uh, Wadham, the link is down below. 
Other than that, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me today. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.